<laughs> Advice on just how to navigate the holiday shopping season is Sharice Jones. She's an economic, economic opportunity reporter for USA Today. Good morning, Sharice. Good morning. Well, millions are expected out there. What are the hottest items this year? I mean, it's always the Xboxes, the Nintendos, all of those electronic items, the smartphones, the personal computers. But it's going to be a little bit harder to get them this year because the semiconductor chip, which is like the key component in all those gadgets right. and gizmos, is in short supply. So you might have to, you know, rearrange your, your shopping plans this year. How can they work around that problem, that well, supply chain issue? You know, definitely get out to the sales today. Cyber Monday's coming up. There might be some items that are available. You might be able to get a good discount. Out. But also think about going low tech this holiday season, right? Old I mean, school. if you can't, yeah, old an school. actual book, right. <laughs> right. Or, a baseball, or a board game, or yeah. a puzzle. I was watching TV the other day and I saw a Play Doh commercial. Right. And when I was little, Play -Doh. I loved Play Doh. Oh, yeah, so man. be creative and not be dependent on the technology as much. Is there a better way? You know, you think online, especially with COVID, so many of us, that's all we did. We couldn't go into stores. But is it better right. online or going into the brick and mortar stores now? I mean, you can do either. I mean, obviously, they're taking safety precautions. They're not as crowded. They're trying to make sure that not as many people come in. And you can get the same deals both online and in stores. So it's just whatever you're comfortable with. So are there shortcuts that people can take to make sure their stuff gets <laughs> on time? On time. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you can go online and look at the website and see if there's a local store that has the item. Mm. And then if it's in stock, get out there, get to that store and buy it so you avoid waiting on pins and needles for it to get there mm. and paying those shipping costs. There's also a site called hotstock.com. Io. You can go I to see that. Michelle writing yeah, it down. Getting, <laughs> and they really keep track of the hard to find items. So you can get email alerts to find out when it's going to be in stock. A lot of stores are doing that as well. And sometimes get away from the merchandise, right? Do an experience. You know, get you know tickets oh, to a concert for right, your friend, right? right. right? Or, Things we haven't been able to do when exactly, you're talking about a concert. Exactly. To a ball game or go to a museum, get some passes for that. You know, so those are some alternatives to kind of getting all that stuff. If if you can't find everything you want. What if you like ordered something and it's on back order? I mean, is there anything to do? <laughs> Michelle's basically that this is her life. Yeah, I, <laughs> so. I, I get it. I understand. I mean, if it's on back order, they may give you some dates that let you know when it's going to be available. But sometimes the top brands sell out first, but you can still get that same item, but a different brand. Right? Like a multi cooker that's not an instant pot. You can right. find that as well. So just be open minded. Well, mm. Sharice Jones always has the info for us. <laughs> I've known her for a long time. <laughs> long time. Yeah, a lot, Lord, yeah, she knows all that. my foibles. Uh -oh. Don't tell anybody. We'll talk to you. Dana and I are going to come and see you in your dressing room later.